artistic director of the Fortune Theatre. It's lovely to see many faces here and new faces. Welcome. Um, our thanks again for being here and to the library, of course, for hosting this event, which they've done all year. Um, it, they do a fantastic job. And without you, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you. We're up to our very last show of the year, of our season. And it is Roger Fall's newest play, A Shortcut to Happiness. We're very lucky because we get to do the world premiere of this production. It's kind of by default, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> um, so Roger was down with us last Friday. You might have seen a photo of him in the cast in the paper today in a lovely article by Charmin on the ODT. And um, it's a beautiful piece about folk dancing, <laughs> about love, loss, relationships, friendships, immig immigration, if you like. We have a wonderful um, central character, Natasha, who is from Russia and has started up folk dancing classes to raise money in order to sit her English exams to, to gain her residency. And the play um, focuses on the people, the wonderful eclectic mix of gorgeous characters that come into this folk dancing class. So I will introduce you to our cast and the characters that they're playing now, and then on the tail end of that we'll, we'll take one scene for you today. All of the actors won't be present in that scene, um, just a hand, the handful that are seated here. Um, but it's going to be fun, let me tell you that, it's going to be a great time in the office room. Um, this is Peter Hayden, who is playing the central role of Ned. Um, you'll probably recognise him from the last show that we did and many other shows and the television and all sorts of that that I want to go to that. <laughs> Elena um, Stedko is here from Auckland and she's playing the role of Natasha. Um, we have Sylvia Rands and Kathy Downs and I'll introduce them together because they play Janet and, Ka <laughs> Janet and, Laura, Janet and Laura in, in the play and they are golfing friends um, and they are like the Huey and Jimmy, really. <laughs> um, they're fantastic. We have the lovely Lynn Waldegrave playing the role of Coral. <laughs> and over here we have, we have Mary Sutherland, who's playing Bev, and she's married to the character of Ray, played by Simon O'Connor. Um, the wonderful thing that Simon gets to do throughout the course of this play is not so much because um, Roger's given him one line throughout the <laughs> So it's always coming along to see the show just to see what that one line is. <laughs> um, another familiar face to is Patrick Davies, who's playing um, a cameo role of Sebastian. And so we'll leave him as the mystery character today. Um, just a fantastic cast from all over, locally, all over the country. Um, you know, you've got some. All of these performers have worked in the industry for a really long time. They have a huge amount of, of talent and experience, and it's been an absolute pleasure to be in the room and to be sharing that experience and growing and growing from their knowledge. So we're taking um, a, Act One, Scene Four. There are about 15 scenes in, entirely in the play, um, and we. We pivot between two settings. One is the church hall where the folk dancing classes take place, and the other is Ned's house in Auckland. So here we are at Ned's place after one of the folk dancing lessons, which has become a bit of a habit. They take a folk dancing class and then they all shoot back to Ned's for a cup of coffee and a bit of a social social get together. A bit like here afterwards, really, with um, Rosalind's cooking. So um, I'm going to, to leave it over to to these guys. We're not going to move the scene around for you. We're just going to sit essentially um, where the setting is, the couch, the spare chair, and normally Ned would be wandering around a bit um, being the host with the most, but we've got him seated for this today. So thank you very much everybody. There we go. Well, we just wanted something new to do, you know, that wasn't golf and shopping. And we didn't want to take up the ukulele. <laughs> we did the dancing when we were in Crete. God, we loved it. Now, even her Colin did it. He's a sports nut. Oh, hey, Colin even smashed a plate. No, but not during the dancing. I find in this country people do not dance. They do not sing, especially men. 
in Russia. Dancing, singing, it's part of life. What part of Russia do you come from? Hey, wasn't there a couple from a cruise? From, from the Ukraine? Yes, yes. No, Ukraine, Ukraine is a completely different country. Um, I come from Moscow. I have still my best friend here. You must love it here. After to Russia. <laughs> uh, Leonid and I uh, wanted to go to Australia, oh. but we wasn't accepted, so we got here. <laughs> I like it here. Too soon to love. Well, Moscow always looks lovely. I'm on the street channel. <laughs> oh, I can stand those Russian winters. <laughs> oh, I can chill. I never been so cold as here. Your houses. Cold. <laughs> My Russian colleagues, they agree. Yes, I shiver all the time and I have to wear those long johns. Why can't you build houses that are not cold? <laughs> he, he keeps it nice and real in my place. They're a long time in there getting that coffee. <laughs> He's there with your titties. <laughs> so did Ray. It'll be very hard not to. Mm -hmm. She has a dog. <laughs> and for you, the Bundaberg ginger beer. Oh, you remembered. <laughs> You must have planned all this. Oh. And Natasha was just saying that she doesn't like our cold houses. Oh, pff, this is not all. Why do you eat so early? Six o'clock. We have dinner while we watch the news. <laughs> well, that's, that's another thing. Your TV news. Crying, crying, crying. Death, victim, crying. Then the foreign news. The suicide bomb in Afghanistan. The India crash rail, the nightclub fire, and mud light in South America. Then sports. 15 minutes of sports every night. I mean, Russia, yes, 15 minutes of sport, but also 15 minutes of culture. Here, no culture. <laughs> I think we like to hear how friendly we all are. And the way people dress. <laughs> Shorts, gentles, no socks. You know, people go out, they meet new people, and they do not care what they look like. In Russia, very important. You ladies, I, I mean... Okay, but... You go out, yeah? you meet new people, is that the best you can look? <laughs> I didn't get this from posting no. us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, true, friendly. People friendly here, people smile. In Russia, no smile. Even policemen, I uh, was stopped. Tiny speaking, uh, he was nice. In Russia, they frightened. They want money. But he was nice. Handsome, too. Libraries are nice here. Yeah. <laughs> you must like our food. Yes, yes. I like Thai food. <laughs> and, um, uh, what do you do, Natasha, when you're not dancing? And dressing up. <laughs> she cleans houses. Yes, but I will set the test, the English as a second language. So when I will pass, I would be able to get a job as a music teacher at school. Yes. Sure your English is good enough to understand? Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be teaching English. I think so. But this is regulation. Oh. I need practice. But how? When I do cleaning, who am I talking to? So, with the times like this, you must talk to me. Yeah? Make corrections. Okay. So, meet. 
I've asked others, but I never ask you. Why did you come to dancing? Ah, well, it was something I read. There are few shortcuts to happiness, and dancing is one of them. Oh, nice. Well, Sally had arthritis. There were lots of activities we simply couldn't do. So now... You have fun. Kids? Yes. Um, Hilary, she's in Australia, and, uh, and Michael in the UK. So you're all on your own? Yeah. I recommend Laura. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. You know, we'd all love you to find someone else. Except her Colin. He died last year. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, I miss Colin. He, you know, he wasn't paid. But... <laughs> you know, it's just that we did everything together. You know, it was Laura and Tony and Colin and... Laura and Colin and Tony and Janet. And we, we, we did holidays, trips abroad, we even did a cruise. And, you know, now, well, that's just... I know you say I'm still welcome. But it's not the same. I'm the odd one. I'm the appendage. No, no, no. Yes, it is. Come on. I mean, you've got to have a four. Do you play golf? <laughs> Next to <ball sums. laughs> Well, you know, or, or bridge. I mean, I'm not propositioning you. Well, I am, but not sex. <laughs> Isn't there a word for a man and a woman in a relationship without sex? Marriage. <laughs> Platonic. Uh, and I'm sorry, Laura, I'm useless for your purposes. I don't play bridge or golf. Oh. But if you travel with a man, even if there was no sex, <laughs> that people would think you're, you're not available. Ladies, I have asked him, but not you. Would you like your house cleaned? Mm, <laughs> no, I have one, thanks. Um, I, I, I hope this isn't too personal, but do you make... <coughs> Enough to to make a living. Mm. Difficult. Mm. Many people are rich here, but stingy. <laughs> stingy. <laughs> yeah, my first job. Just after I put advertisement, lady, house, fifteen dollars an hour. I say, she says, clean the house. To Two hours! That was huge. A sort of houses that you pay money to get inside. More than I can say for her. Did you do it in two hours? I did it in three hours. She paid me two hours. Oh, that's true. And then she said, I want my house clean once a month. Oh. Once a month! Oh. I mean, I was tired. My body ached, my back. That's why Tony won't touch the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> it, puts its put his, it puts its back out for golf. Oh. <laughs> I always feel I have to tidy up before Shirley comes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, it's the most useful thing she does. <laughs> Your Raymond tidies up for me, but she puts things in places where she thinks they ought to be. That's right. Yeah. It, it took me ages out there just then to yeah, find right. the coffee plug. Your clean has just been. That's why your place is so clean. Oh. Oh, that's why you want on a Wednesday. She wants you out of the house. She making phone calls. I bet. Whatever country she come from. No, 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 Korea, no. Eastern, Europe. No, no, no. She lives locally. What she's a kid with. Yeah. And she cleans houses. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know any immigrant woman. No. You do now. How much you pay her? Well, I don't think that's any of you. Thirty dollars an hour. Oh! Look, it's not a question of Okay, 19 of senior discount. I have no <laughs> one to replace Raymond. Does she iron? No. Uh -huh. Not cleaning oven, not iron, and I'll do it cheaper. Look, I will let you know. <laughs> Thank you.